Hello everyone. Um, so I wanted to share with you a little modification I made to the Jumper T20. Um, the one thing I had major complaints about is that there was no momentary switch. You can use these on the bottom as momentary switches, but it's kind of finicky to set up. Um, these are all two position. These originally, these were all three position. Um, you can change them to two position, but it's kind of a pain. And so what I did was I actually bought a momentary switch. This is actually to a, a Free Sky Radio or something like that. But they're about the same specs. Uh, this one's, the original one's 125 VAC, whatever that means. And uh, this one's 120. I don't think it'll be a problem. I'm not really doing very much with it. It's just a momentary. So, uh, what I did was I installed this momentary to work as a Welcome to HTX. arming switch. And my dream was to double tap and it would arm. Hold down to disarm or tap once to disarm. Just depends. Um, I actually had a situation with a long range quad that I was, you know, flying along and because people are dumb sometimes, just like me, I disarmed real quick and I didn't have, I panicked and didn't really know. So what I have done here is I've set up a double tap to arm, a single tap to disarm. And the way I have it is that if I single tap and I disarm by accident, it'll beep at me. So I know that, oops, I disarmed and I'm not panicking and looking around my goggle feed to see what happened. Then I can click it again to stop it. Now the other way I can do this is if I double tap, that's the arm, and if I hold, it'll disarm and stop the beep. That way I know exactly what I was trying to do. So let me show you a little bit how this works. So I have a little tiny whip here. And wait for that to connect. So there's it armed, single tap, disconnects, warns me that I accidentally disarmed, click it again to stop the warning. Now, if I arm and I want to disarm, I can hold, it'll beep that I disarmed, but then it won't give me the warning because I was trying to do it. So let me show you a little bit, I'll show you screenshots of uh, how I did this and I based my information on some YouTube videos I found, but they were incomplete. They skipped steps, they didn't show everything you needed, they didn't go into the little um, settings you needed to do, and especially missed the part where you're actually changing the mixes to the proper logical switch. So I'll go through that right now and uh, hopefully uh, you can utilize this too. Okay, so of course this isn't for everybody. It's only people that want to limit the amount of switches they have. Say you have a radio with not that many, um, a boxer, a tango, whatever. Um, as long as it's running Edge TX and I believe most Open TX, it should work. So you'll go into model and then on the jumper you'll press the little uh, three line button right here once and you will scroll over to logical switches. It's a little hard to see, I'm sorry, it's the OLED. Um, so the first logical switch was gonna set up as edge and this is going to be the starting position uh, of your switch. So if, let's say it's the disarm uh, normally position. So in this case, the momentary is in the upright position. It's default upright and that's the first position. Okay, so we do just go into this, hit edit, set it to edge, SD up. This is the type or the name of the switch, as you can see here, SD. Most of them have them labeled on the actual transmitter. Uh, SD up is the original position. The V2 you set to 0.5, that's a timing, and then duration is 0.5. Uh, you can kind of edit this however you want, play with it, see what timings work for you. This works best for me. Um, logical switch two would be the arm position normally. So it's wherever the momentary 
is going to be switched to. Now you can do this with a two position switch as well. Um, with the same type of settings, you'll just arm, disarm, arm is the method. Um, same way for momentary, just makes it easy because it'll spring back into the position that you are quote unquote disarmed. So go into here, uh, same sort of situation, function is edge, SD down would be the direction that I want to arm in. Um, same thing, 0 0.0, 0, 0 0.5, and switch logical 01. Duration is 0 0.5, that's just the timing. And then we'll go to logical switch 3. This is a sticky. It's the last one on the list of the function. Um, V1, LO2, and V2, SD down. Um, the logic of it is that it's checking... It's making L2 sticky during the check and then uh, keeping arm on. So in this case, arm is actually SD down. SD up would be disarm position. So if we go, <coughs> excuse me, if we go here and we do a double tap of the momentary, you'll see here that LO3 is lit up. That's the logic for it. So it'll sticky LO3. And then if we press it once, LO4 continues to trigger until we either tap or disarm correctly before. So uh, again, I'll go through that again. So double tap to arm. It'll run through the logical switches. Disarm, if you don't single tap, is long press disarm and see how it went to L4 and then stopped. Now, the other step that a lot of YouTubers seem to miss is that you actually need to change your arm channel. So whatever your input is to your receiver in Betaflight or iNav or whatever you use. So let's say my channel eight is my arm switch. In this case, I will change this. So I'll go in here, edit, and then you'll go to the source and then click and then select whichever logical switch is your arm. Now, you might already have logical switches set up, so you would need to change your logical switch functions to whichever is the previous. So if you use that original setup that I showed you just earlier as a guide, just change it to whatever is appropriate. In this case, LO3 is my arm switch. So there you go. So now we'll go through the sound setup um, where I have it beep when I single press by accident or when I long press disarm, it'll stop beeping. So we have this setup. I'll go show you this again. Uh, the exclamation mark means not. It's just a programming way or whatever. Uh, duration 05 again. That's how many beeps per second. So two beeps per second. So if we go out here, logical switches, and then to the next page, you'll see special functions. Now, I have a bunch of stuff set up. You can copy this, uh, ignore this one. It doesn't matter. In fact, I will delete it. Okay, so LO4 is the beep that we're looking for. Uh, LO1, LO2, LO3, those are just beeps assigned to whichever log logical switch that's running through. Don't need all of these. If you want to beep on every single one as it plays through, see how it lit up as I went through. That's the arming. Disarm. And then again, double tap to arm. It'll go through the three logical switch special functions, which is play sound, beep one, beep one, and warning two. Change them however you like. You can even do custom. Uh, sounds inside of Edge TX, probably OpenTX too, but I haven't really played with OpenTX in a long time, so I think it's the same. And then single tap, and it'll continue to play. That's the logical switch doing that. It's just referring to this special function to continuously play that 0.5 seconds that we talked about before. So let's turn that off. And there you go. So this is how I have it set up. And I hope you can find this useful at least.